guys, welcome to my channel. This is Penina the Grace and you are in the home of Grace. In this channel, I share my life stories. So kindly don't forget to like, comment and share. Before we start out this video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for the love, for the support. You people are so amazing and may God Almighty bless you for me. You know, I want to talk about dating in love. Should I call it last? Because I, it depends with those people that will be late dating when you are in gaff. So should I call it dating or lasting? I don't know. But maybe if you watch this video, you'll also help me to give it a better title. First of all, guys, uh, I want to say like, when you are planning to come to golf, what was in your mind? The first time when you were planning to come to golf, what was in your mind? Were you planning to come and work or were you planning to say like, okay, when I go to golf and maybe when I meet a guy, we will start dating or something like that. Now, why am I bringing this topic this way? Because it depends with what you were planning before you started like a process to come to work to golf. And mostly, or let me say every time anybody that comes to work to golf, they normally come to work, not to date or to start any kind of relationship. Now, so the day when you were like, okay, now I'm going to golf now, your visa is out. What was the first thing that linked in your mind? Matters. What the first thing? I can say the first impression that linked on your mind also matters. Why am I saying so? Uh, so many girls when they are coming to golf, I don't know who told them or what they normally think before they, uh, they, they, they do what they normally do. Because I also have friends, guys. So I'm talking about what I know. It's not what I'm thinking. I also have friends like some of them, even I also had an opportunity to stay with one, are like, they normally, when I do Shidano, okay, they, they use this, is it called contra, contraceptives? I don't know. I don't know, guys. So they will go uh, for the injection. Okay, there is this coil. It's normally being put here, something like that. Is it here or here? Here, yeah. So they will put it. It is a, um, it's a Nishindano. It's a needle. It's, I don't know. <laughs> but there is something, it's a coil, I don't know, but there is something they normally put in the hand. So they will go for it, I think that thing lasts, I don't know if it is two years or three years, I don't know. But I know because um, uh, once upon a time I used to have a friend that had it in the hand, okay? So my question was, mm -hmm, I had an opportunity to talk to her a lot and I was asking her, why did you put this? And she also had like she did not have a good um, a good answer for it. She did not have a good answer for it. So guys, I'm saying this: uh, when you are coming to golf, uh, the first impression matters a lot because if you know that you are coming to work, I don't know. I don't think like you should need that thing in your hand. I don't know. You, I completely me. I am a hundred percent sure. Like you don't need it. Like, I'm talking to my fellow Kenyans. You don't need that thing in your hand. First of all, that thing, I think it has like, it, gonna, it has some, some side effects. And it will also, it will reach a time whereby you need to remove it. And so guys, let me leave that one aside. So when you are coming to golf, you came like you wanted to come to work as a house help. So why put that one in your hand? If you did not have any intention, like you are coming to do something wrong against to what you, you applied to come to do. Yes. Should I date my boss? Now back to the point, should I date my boss? Uh, actually, uh, I can't say you should not date your boss or you should date your boss. So it depends with you. Did you come to work or did you come to date? Now that one, you should answer it for yourself. Now, I'm coming to this point where I'm saying that uh, so many girls have felt in the trap that they don't know how to come out of it and what they can do or what they can make to change so that they can be the way they used to be. I don't want to say or to judge you that what you did was very wrong that cannot be corrected. And I don't want to tell you to feel like uh, what you did is a very big mistake that God will never forgive you or you will never come out of it. I know you have done a mistake and mistakes are there to be corrected and you should be wise and know how you go about them. Now, in golf, there are so many, many, many temptations 
there are so many temptations and if you are not strong if you don't know what you are supposed to do or, or how you can stand and defend yourself you will always find yourself in the wrong trap or in the wrong situation um in golf uh, I can say men in Gulf are very handsome. I can't lie. Uh, especially I said in, in, in Saudi, if you can remember my previous videos, uh, men in Gulf are really, really handsome. That one is 100% nothing to argue about them. They are very cute. And if you are this person that any cute guy will never pass without you admiring them, then you are in a wrong place. Okay, you will find yourself like doing the wrong thing and hurting yourself every time. Uh, Arab men value their family very much. A hundred percent, they put their family first before everything. They put their family very fast. Okay, now I'm talking about now your baba, huh? ba the boss that you're working for. Uh, you you will find like they value their family so much like this person even if they have so many arguments but you will see these people they stick with the family and everything they do together so I'm trying to open your eye and tell you like you went there to work as a house manager and you went there to work as a help you are there to help to help this lady to do the works the house chores, taking care of baby, cooking, ironing, and name it all. So at some point, you find out like Baba sometimes sneaks from, sneaks wherever he is, their room, from kitchen, from nowhere, and will always come to you where you are, maybe in your room, or maybe you are in the kitchen, maybe you are ironing, something like that. So he will be sneaking and coming to you. So my question is, do you really think that this man loves you because we can talk we are talking about love do you really think that this man loves you because if you see your madam first your madam the way your madam okay they, she might not have that uh, everything all but when you see the face okay the appearance from this can you compare yourself with your madam can you another thing that woman there is legally married that woman there is legally married. That woman there is the mother to the babies that you are taking care of. That mother there is the wife to your boss. So can you compare yourself to her? You can't, definitely. So why start something that will never, you will never come out? Or some, why start something that you will never have benefit in it? Why... Put yourself in a mess that you will live to regret or to remember. Now, I'm talking about this because so many girls have found themselves in such kind of a mess. You will find a house manager or you you will find a house manager and she works in a home where there are men, even like six men, maybe father and six and five boys. So it's about six to seven men or five, four, like more boys or men in the house. I want you to know these people also, they have blood that flows through their veins. They are human beings. They are not that special that they can't fall in the trap or they can't fall in temptations. They are human beings and human beings are there to do wrongs and right at the same time. So it is normal. Now, your boss comes and asks you like, uh, you know what, Mariam, uh, I think like we should do this. They don't tell you that they love you. They will never tell you that, you know, Mariam, I love you. No, they will not tell you that. They will just tell you like, you know what? I want you to do for me this. Can we do this? I want you today to come to my room. I want you like that. Why can't you stand in your feet and tell that boss, I am not interested? Why are you giving in? Now, to those people that have already given in, you have not done worse that cannot be corrected. Uh... Your boss came and asked you to go and sleep with him. You went and slept with him. For the first time, for the second, and now it has come like an anthem. And also he has boys here in house and also these boys too are sleeping with you. Can't you see this is a very, very bad thing? Like it's a shame. Okay, now I want you to put it this way. Now this is your boss. Now let me say that you are married to this boss. Hmm? And I want you to see yourself like you are a mother to these children. Are you really doing the right thing, sleeping with the father and the children? Can't you see you are confused? 
Eh? That is just an example. I'm just trying to put it clear on your face so that you see that what you are doing or what you've done is wrong. But it can be corrected or it can be stopped as well. Now, I'm trying to talk to girls that um, they found them, themselves in such kind of situation. Like father came and asked them, I can't say like it is bad, like what you are doing, like dating your boss. It is you to decide yourself because I'm not, I'm not this person that will make you, help you to, to make your decisions. You know what you were there for, okay? So I can't tell you that you did a very wrong mistake, but um, you slept with your boss. Again, you slept with the son, the first son, the second son, the third son, guy, my dear, my sweetheart, my beloved. Are you a sex toy? <laughs> so, in the first place, what you could have done, if it is something like people can make choices, I don't think it is right for you to date your boss children. It is, that one now, just remove it in your mind completely. Remove it, though you will find big boys that are there that are ready to get married, not they are not ready to get married. But I want to tell you something like, you see those boys there, uh, there are more than one, I think one boy in the house maybe might keep secret. Huh? We are talking guys, and I just want us to, 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 to reason and know what is happening so that we should not find ourselves in trap and how we can clear all these messes that we are creating. Okay, in the home, and it is the reality. So I'm not here coming to, to pretend like, okay, that people are working in Gulf are angels or they can't do something like that. These things are happening. I'm talking through what I know. They are happening. So if there is one boy in the house, that boy will keep secret. Okay, you will be sleeping with him and he will not have nobody to tell. He will keep the secret. But if there are two, if they are two, know you are in a shit no, you are in a shit. The first boy came and slept with you. He will go and tell the second boy and the second boy will also come and ask you. And if you say no, he will come and tell you, why are you telling me that you will not do this to me and you did it to the other one? So with that fear and the fear that you always know like, oh, people in Gulf, like they normally do this and this now, you will start like trembling and messing even worse. Like we will say, okay, let me sleep with him so that we will cover. And you don't know that you are putting yourself in a deep, mess you are putting yourself in a deep mess so now you've done that how are you going now to deal with them how are you going to deal with them because now it will be like they will be coming like more often they will be coming more often this one will come and go they, they, uh, they will be just like coming maybe one will just go like this and then after five minutes another one will come how are you going to manage this and at the same time you are working so guys these things are happening and I think people should open up their minds. I'm not telling you guys like you should stop what you are doing, but you should do the right thing at the right time. Sleeping with your boss and their children at the same time is a very regret, is a very big mistake that you will never do in your entire life. Because these people, when they found out like Baba, it, Baba uh, 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 and the sons are sleeping with their house help, they will, one day, one time, they will, they will find themselves in your room. Like Baba will find the son there, or those two sons, you will all they both will meet in the same room. So how will that one be? How will it be? So you see, such kind of thing or such kind of uh, uh, it, it can cause a very very big damage. Like these people can be very angry and they can end up your life and they will throw you in the trash and nowhere you will take them. So before you do that mess, please. Let these people not confuse you like, okay, you've done this with the first boy and now you have done to do this with the second boy or you have done this with the father and now you can do this with the children. And if it is something that you can choose between father and children, leave children a lot of this mess. Leave them a lot of, a lot of this mess because you will end up hurting yourself. If it is their boss, bosses, sometimes they can keep secret. These bosses can keep secret. Though, I'm telling you this because you, you can't replace that woman, your madam, you will never replace her. That woman will always be your madam and she will always be special to that man because she is the wife. So you, if you have given in to that man, know that you are not loved but you are rather being used. You are used by boss. So are you ready or how far are you going to be used with your boss? How, how, how far are you going to go with this far? 
And remember, this thing, you know, you sometimes will find it like you will have, develop some feelings. You will develop some feelings. You'll be sometimes like, okay, maybe now you want this almost because you have already involved yourself. Like now you feel like you are loved, which is not love. It is lust that you are doing. And then now you will now not be able to control yourself because you will now, you will lack, you will lack that respect to respect your madam. And all these will, things will cost commotions. They will cost commotions. Like, you will not have the respect to your madam and your madam will be angry. Why is this and this and this? And now you will bring a lot of mess. So I don't think you can put yourself in that mess and come out well or 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 good. So just stay away from all those messes. Stay away from, uh, stay away from those messes. And your boss is not loving you at all. That is what I'm telling you. Your boss is not loving you. He's just using you. And when he's done with you, he will just dump you. And the life that they they, are, they have in their house, uh, it will continue. So you are the one that will be wasted. You will live like hurting and regretting. Like, why me? Why me? But it is you that gave the devil an opportunity to destroy your life. So guys, I wanted to talk about this video because uh, there are so many girls outside there that they have found themselves in this mess and they don't know how to go about it. Now, girls that have done, already done these things outside there, I don't know how you normally cope. Like now you have father and son in the same home uh, that you have slept with the son, you have slept with the father and you are still working for them. I don't know. It is hard. Uh, it is very hard, but I think it is if you have found yourself in such kind of mess, why just to go back to the office, learn your lessons and go start work somewhere else. And if you find yourself like maybe you slept with your boss, and come back to that point whereby I was talking about this family planning thing. Now, you know what? Uh, sometimes it, it is the things, the way we represent ourselves, the way we have put, or we have, we have invested our emotions, and that is where everything will always come out of it. So, like those people that have already, while when you are me Madawa, those people that are taking pills, they are using the contraceptives and so on. You know, you will find yourself in such kind of a mess. Like your boss will come and ask you, like, try and just try and kujaribu too, and because you will always remember, oh, I have protection in my body something like this will not harm me you are protecting pregnancy and you don't know the consequences about sleeping with this guy you don't know the consequences okay pregnancy is okay you are going to protect what of after laying with this man down do you know the consequences anyway so uh, i was just trying to tell you like those things like those contraceptives and whatever if you want to come to golf just leave them leave them and risk risk the way you are risking to come this side just risk yourself and come purely and tell god i am going there to work Protect me there. You will be safe. And when anything comes on the way, you will find yourself like you know how to deal with that situation. You will know how you can control yourself. You will know how to fight for you. But if you have already have protection, you will be weak. You will be like, oh, you will always be giving in. You will always be giving in. So guys, this is what I wanted to talk about. And I know nobody talks about this issue. And that is why I've come to talk about it. So guys, if you like this video, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next. Bye.